Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're very welcome. My name is Yeva, and to celebrate 10K subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'm doing a 10-day hip mobility challenge, which is designed for climbers, but suitable for all who would like to have healthy hips. And I'm sure it's all of us who would like to have healthy hips. The idea is very simple. I invite you to show up every day for around 10, 15 minutes each time for 10 days in a row. And every day we will focus on variety of movements that with time might help to improve our hip strength and flexibility. If you join this challenge and have an Instagram account, welcome to tag me on your stories. It would be super cool to see them and so I could reshare them as well. And without further ado, let's get started. If you're not seated already, let's meet in a seated position so your sit bones can go down and then open your legs as wide or slightly wider than your hips or as wide as your yoga mat and flex your feet inner knees have 90 degrees. So this movement is called 90-90 because the legs are like a 90 degrees position. So bend or move both of your legs to the left, push the hip forward and then to the right. Over here you can use your arms to support you so your hands can go on the ground or you keep the arms in the air. So let's continue to move to one side. I don't have a lot of space on this right side, therefore I'm more on the left. And uh, over here again, when you go to one side, push the hip forward, maybe even engage the glute, which is on the top, and then to the other. Continue. Okay, and next time both of your legs go to the left, let's stay here. So your legs to the left, again, check that it's more or less 90 degrees. You can support yourself with the hands. We will lift the right leg. So lift the right leg and lower. The idea here is that the movement originates from your hip joint, not uh, from the inertia that we move the upper body and then the right leg lifts, but try to keep the whole body still, just the right leg moves. Okay, so let's try that. Lift the right leg and lower. Continue, lift it up and lower. Lift it up and lower. Keep your foot flexed, so right foot flexed. If you don't feel anything, lift higher and then hold for a few moments. Okay, let's do two more times, lift, lower. Next time we lift, hold, and then let's extend the right leg and bend it. Extend it and bend it and continue. Let's do two more times, extend it, bend it, extend it, bend it, lower the right foot, uh, right knee, right foot, right leg down and then swap sides. Both of your legs go to the right. Again, more or less 90 degrees. So check that, make yourself more or less comfortable. Maybe support yourself with the hands. Again, the movement comes from your left hip joint. So we want to target this area over here. So try to focus on that and lift the left leg with your muscles. Okay, so continue, start to lift and lower. While we are moving, also check your breath. So your breath is calm through the nose, gentle inhalations, gentle exhalations. So super awesome that you are joining the challenge. I hope you will enjoy it. I'm always interested to know how it goes. So in the end of the session, leave a comment how it went and to let me know that you are finished with day one. Okay, let's continue and lift it up and lower. Up and lower. If you don't feel anything, lift higher and then hold for a moment, maybe even longer in the top position and then lower. And last time you lift, hold and then extend the left leg and bend it. Maybe arms in the air for extra challenge or hands are supporting you. So you decide what serves you today. Extend and bend. 
check your breath. Calm inhalation through the nose. Let's do four more. Then lower the leg, come back into the center, then open your feet into the butterfly position. So the soles of your feet together. Then we close the knees down and then open them back up, back down. When you open the legs, imagine that with your muscles, you want to open them even wider and that your knees want to touch the ground. So they don't have to touch the ground. We just imagine that they want to go that direction. So we try to open using our muscles, not using our hands. Okay, Le lift and touch and then open. A few more times, bend. One more time, come back into the butterfly position and then we will move one leg stays in a half butterfly and then the other leg, so let's say left leg stays in a half butterfly and then the right leg bends, right heel next to your right hip. Over here we have less than 90 degrees in our inner knees and we will lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes, lower them down then try not to use your arms, come back into the butterfly and then the other leg bends, left heel next to your left sit bone, lift your hips up, squeeze the glutes and then lower and continue through this movement. Sometimes it might feel nice to have something soft underneath you, so if your ground is quite hard, maybe put like a blanket underneath your knees, it might feel nicer. When you lift, also really with your mind, remind yourself to squeeze the glutes. So really squeezing the glutes, then lower, come back, other side. Squeeze, lower, and let's do last time on the one side. Squeeze, come back into the center, butterfly position. And then for the, from the butterfly position, we will go into the legs extended. So maybe without using your hands, try first. And then if it's un uncomfortable, use your hands, but extend the right leg. And then let's extend the left leg. Okay. Now let's come back into the butterfly. So bend the right leg and then bend the left leg. Perhaps if you want less challenge, bring your hands behind you. So the more you lean back, the easier it will be, even though of course it will still be hard. The more forward you go, the harder it might be. So let's try that again. So now let's extend first the other leg. So the left leg, extend and then the right leg. Maybe stay here for a moment, flex your both of your feet, maybe go slightly forward without touching the ground, swaying to the left, swaying to the right. Come back into the center, right leg bends, left leg bends. Now let's meet again in the 90-90 position. So as wide as your yoga mat, flex your feet, both legs to the left. And now we will do the internal, internal rotation. So let's focus on your right leg. Imagine that over here you want to keep the right knee on the ground. We just want to lift the right foot. And then again, the whole body stays still. The movement originates from your hip joint. So lift the right foot and lower and continue. If you don't feel anything, try to lift higher and also pause for a moment in the top position. And also sometimes by pointing the toes down might help to increase the sensation. But again, everyone is different. So you explore, you explore what's happening in your body. Lower, a few more, lift, lower, lift, lower, two more times, lift, lower, last one, lift, lower. Swap sides, go to the other direction. Then over here, make yourself more or less comfortable. Keep the left knee down. We will lift the left foot and then the knee always pushes down. So we lift the left foot, internal rotation of the left hip right now. Lift it up, 
lower, up, lower, continue. Come back to your breath, so feel the inhalation through the nose. Feel the exhalations. If you don't feel anything, maybe hold at the top position and try to lift even higher. Also try not to drop the left foot down, so mindfully lowering it down. Let's do two more times. Lift, hold for a moment, lower, lift and lower. And then let's come back into the center, extend your legs in front of you, maybe hands behind you, shoulder blades together, open up your chest and shake your legs. With your hands, start to tap your legs, so around your hip joints, giving a massage to your legs. Okay, so you're finished with your day one. Congratulations. For the day two, we will focus on the standing postures and standing movements, so it might be slightly more intense. Thank you so much once again for joining this challenge. Again, if you'd like, tag me on your Instagram. It would be super cool to see you or leave a comment down below if you're taking part in this 10-day hip mobility challenge. Okay, so see you tomorrow for a day two.